Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a, a review of some of the sheet masks that I've used up for the month of July. I had to think about what month we were in. Anyway, I have been saving my little packets here. And some of the brands I've talked about a lot of different times. Some of them are new that I haven't tried. So um, let's just kind of get started. I don't have a whole lot because I was trying to focus on this last month doing a lot of my um, like gel mask, my peel off mask, that type of mask because I, I usually have a tendency to neglect those and um, just continue to use sheet mask. I love sheet mask. And I try to do a mask at least four times a week if not more sometimes I maybe even every week but anyway I do like to do a mask I just do them at night after I've had my bath while I'm laying in bed um, reading or watching some TV or playing um, Candy Crush you know anything like that so I just use it as um, some downtime anyway so let's get started um, this one here is a new one to me and this one here is called Claire's. Dear Claire's, I think is what it's called. Let's see if I can get this up to where it will focus. It may not because it's the white package here. But anyway, it's a rich moisturizing, rich moist soothing sheet mask. This runs around $2.50. Um, you can find them on um, eBay. I think you can probably get them on Amazon. And there is also their own website too. And they are manufactured in Korea. And let's see, it looks like the phone number is a Korean number also because it's 0704366 So that has to be a not a non USA number there. But anyway, um, I think it, I liked it. It was really good. I had. Um, done a um, chemical peel and after I had done the chemical peel I used this and it really helped to soothe and to calm down my skin. Um, it was a hundred percent cotton sheet. It was for moisture, soothing, balanced pH, nour nourish and for control oil. Um, it soothes your skin immediately with no irritation. It has hyaluronic acid and some kind of phyto oligo moisturizers. I don't know. Anyway, I really did like it. I, I know I have several of these and I'm not really for sure if this was one that Anne has sent to me or if it's one that I ordered off of Wish. Anyway, I'll ha I have this. I liked it and I do have some more of those. We'll definitely use them. And there was 23 ml of essence in there. It was a clear essence and um, there was still enough essence in there to use the following day. Plenty of essence. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to this guy here. Oh, I have my notes. I have my little notes taped on there. This is called the Butterfly Eyes. Again, another white one that you may not be able to see. Anyway, I got this at Ulta. This was around $5 and it's a hydrogel mask. And the whole purpose of this mask here for the design was that it was supposed to fit on your face and go all the way up here so it would get you know this whole area around your eyes, on your eyes, all up in here, this whole area. The issue with it was that it kept, I get it pressed down here and then it would pop off, pop up up here. Press it down up here then it would come undone over here. It just, it would not lay flat to where it was making contact in all of those places at the same time. So it was kind of, kind of defeated the purpose of it being, you know, the shape of a mask with it not staying in place. So I didn't really care for it. It had um, five different types of flower extracts in it. It was moisturizing and I think if it would have stayed on better, I may have liked it better, but I don't know. It just, the mask itself was very stiff and I think that's why it wouldn't stay where it needed to stay at anyway. So that was from Ulta. Okay, this next one, oh my gosh this one. This is from Le Métier de Beauté. And um, last year I had signed up for their um, subscription service. You have to do it ahead of time and you pay for for the whole year at once 
anyway they only have so many subscriptions blah 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 anyway this was my last month they sent me two of these sheet masks the sheet masks are around 15 to 20 dollars a piece Eek. the essence in it was really good i liked the way that my skin felt after i got done using it it felt very soft and supple and plumped and i liked that the issue was the mask itself it was one of the gel masks and when i went to take it out it was so thin and flimsy that i tore it when i was trying to get it unfolded i tore it so i finally got it on you know positioned on my face and everything and i went to do something to adjust it or something you know and tore it again and then when i took it off my face after i was done with it when i took it off it came off like in pieces so the, the quality of the mask was horrible, but the essence of the mask was really good. But would I um, would I purchase this on its own? I don't think so. Um, just because of the issue with the fact that the mask itself wasn't good quality. It's the Revitalizing Hydro Red Algae and Collagen Mask is what this one is. And um, you can find these on um, Neiman Marcus, I think who sells the Le Moutier de Boutte brand but um, no I mean because you can find so many good masks that are, are around two three dollars that I don't really think there's any need to spend you know fifteen twenty dollars for one sheet mask anyway alrighty the next ones I'm going to talk about are this brand here this is the um, Hulaka Hulaka and I have the pomegranate and the tomato. I have two of those. These you can get for around $3.50 or so for like a three pack on eBay. And these do contain alcohol. So if you're someone that doesn't want to put any type of alcohol on your skin, you won't want to use these because it is the third ingredient in these. Um, the sheet was a like a cotton sheet, but it was a very thin cotton sheet and the essence was a very very thin essence i like essence that are a little bit thicker and but for the price i mean you can't beat the price these are wonderful to be using for like an, a daily mask if you wanted to mask every day and just didn't want to spend a whole lot of money um, you could definitely get those but um, the pomegranate was for elasticity and the tomato was for firming um, they had a good smell to them but like I said, I don't know. They're, they're okay. They're okay. Okay. The next ones I'm going to talk about, I'm just going to group all these together because they are my favorite brand, and that's the Naster Mask. And the Naster Mask you can find at TJ Maxx. You can find them at Marshalls. You can order them on Amazon or on eBay. Um, I think you could probably even order them... There's a website in here on here, but it doesn't. Yonji. Anyway, it's not the Naster website. It's a weird website. And I don't think you'll be able to see it. Well, maybe you can see it on this one, on the dark one. I don't know. I don't know if that'll focus good enough. Anyway, um, just go to Marshall's or TJ Maxx because you can get them cheaper there. You can get like a whole pack of five for like $4.99. And they are wonderful. They do wonderful. They perform. I don't have any problems with them um, not staying on my face. The essence in them are wonderful. This one is the pearl. Then I have the caviar, the collagen, the EGF. There's a tea tree one. There's all kinds. I think there's a hyaluronic one. I mean, there's there's a lot, and I highly, highly recommend the Nature. I like the Nature. Okay. Moving on to this little guy here, and what brand was this? The Tude House. This is the Tude House, and this is the Honey, the Royal Jelly, not Honey, Royal Jelly, for smoothing and hydration. Everything else is in Korean, so I cannot tell you, but the packaging is really cute. It's got a little bee on there. Anyway, this these you can get for like a dollar fifty up to three dollars, just depending on where you, you buy them at. And, you know, just kind of shop around from the Etude House, and I liked it. I liked it because it had a um, a milky essence. So what I mean by milky is that the essence is kind of like a creamy essence. 
and I like them when they're kind of creamy like that. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. There is still some in there, but it's very smoothing and moisturizing and just makes your skin feel really, really, really good. It's not sticky or tacky. Um, so when you take your mask off, you can just um, rub what's left into your skin, put what's on in your pouch, on your neck, um, your arms, your hands, your feet, your legs. Just utilize everything that is in your little um, sheet mask pouch. Just don't let any of it go to waste. I still see some in there. But I'm going to put it on. Put it on. But yeah. Anyway, it feels good. It has a good smell to it. Also, it's not overpowering or anything. It's very natural and light. It's not perfumey. The camera is flashing at me. I'm trying to see if this had alcohol in it. Okay. I have another one from Etude House, and this one is the Snail. And this is for smoothing and firming. It has the snail essence in it, or the sting and firm, firming. You can find these again, like on Amazon, eBay, um, Etude House. I guess there's. Can you order them directly? Yes, you can order them directly from Etude. I think. Anyway, a good mask. I liked it. I didn't have any problems with it. Um, I think you know to, to kind of do to be fair with you, um, a lot of masks whenever you use them, you're going to see moisturizing and your skin's going to feel good. You're going to feel good because you've actually have, you know, pampered yourself a little bit. But it's just like any type of skincare. Um, you're going to have to be consistent with it and you're going to have to stick with it in order to see any long-term results from them. So just kind of keep that in mind because I know some people say, well, masks don't do anything. Well, if you just use it once in a great blue moon, yeah, you're probably not going to see a whole lot of good benefits out of the mask. But um, if you continually do masking um, two, three times, four times, five times a week, you're definitely going to reap, reap, reap and see the benefits of doing it that way. Then I have this one here, and this one is the, it's another snail, and this is the Jaw Yawn Mapping Essence Mask 2. I've talked about this before in one of my reviews. I really did like this. It's a cloth mask. I saved it. Still has a lot of essence in there. I mean, I probably used this at the beginning of the month, and my little sheet here is still wet. So, I mean, they just look like that. Just a really strong and sturdy cloth cotton cloth that you just put on your face and like I said just sit back and relax and enjoy the magic of masking. And then I have this one here from um, Innisfree. This was for green tea. It's called It's a Real Squeeze Mask. Um, I don't really remember a whole lot about this one and I didn't write any notes. Uh, it's a Korean mask. Mm. I just don't remember too much about it. You know, I don't know. I'm sorry. But anyway, it's a green tea. And then the last ones I have are the Taiwan Tiny's. Did I say that right? Anyway, um, that Anne sent to me. And these are my Beauty Diary uh, mask. You can get these for like a dollar to a dollar fifty. Again, a great brand to um, use to have that you can use you know every single day and you don't feel you know guilty about you know using a dollar a day skincare product but um, I have the the apple and what was this one I don't remember what this one was oh I looked it up too and I forgot to write it down but then I have the cactus the apple Oh, darn it. I looked that one up and I don't remember because I tore the top of it off and that's what tells you what it was. And I don't remember which one it was. Anyway, I liked them. I thought they were good and they had a lot of essence in them. They had enough essence in them to use the following day. Or even, you know, like I said, when you're doing it, just get a scoop in your hand in there and put it all over your neck and your legs and your arms and just lay back and relax and let the mask do its work. 
anyway that is it for this um, mask review I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and I will talk to you soon bye